So today we're going to show you how to adjust the pan tension on a foothold trap. Now what the pan tension is, is essentially how much force it takes down to push, how much force it takes to push down this pan. You can see here that this is pretty hard and essentially your pan tension is probably as important if not more important than your size trap because if you don't have your pan tension right, like here, you'd use this trap for muskrat maybe raccoon, maybe rabbit, but there's no way you'd catch any of these, those with this. This is just too tight. So, and if you have the wrong pan tension, say too light, if you had a number five and you were going for cougar, then it might be light and a rabbit might step on it and set it off. And again, if it's too hard like this, you just won't catch anything. So how you're gonna adjust this, as you can see here, this screw right here, is how you adjust the pan tension. You loosen it to make it looser, you tighten it to make it tighter. So you're going to need a wrench and a screwdriver. This is a Duke number one. So a seven, I'm using a seven millimeter wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. If you have a vintage trap, it'll likely be standard. So you'll likely have some kind of standard wrench and you'll probably have a flathead. But for this trap, we're using a seven millimeter and a Phillips screwdriver. So we're going to put that on there. You gotta be careful with these brass bolts. These brass bolts, they can strip out really easy if you don't see how to them. So here, this is pretty floppy. You could probably get away with this from muskrat, but I might tighten it up just a little bit to make sure it doesn't set itself off. Try that a little bit more here. That's a little bit better. We can probably dial it in. Maybe just a tad bit better than that. Just a tad bit looser. Yeah. A tad bit tighter now. You may have to fiddle with it for just a little bit to get the perfect pan tension. And this here is pretty good. We'll take her back maybe like a hundredth of a turn. And we'll call that pretty good. It's not, it's got a little bit of resistance to it. I'd say, I'd call that pretty good. So, and I can't stress this enough. Your pan tension is critical too tight and you won't get uh, too hard and you won't catch anything too light and you'll catch the wrong thing so make sure I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to have your pan tension set to the right tension and have a good day